along with that idea of reflecting on the previous year, I thought it would be interesting to revisit my 2021 star favorites. I've never done this before and I wanted to see if they're still a favorite in my wardrobe. So I've made a list. I don't have everything here with me, so I will pop some photos on screen of the items I don't currently have to hand. Uh, everything's in storage right now until we get back into our house. Uh, but I want to just go straight into it talking about the first favorite I mentioned, which was a trench coat from Max Mara. Okay, said trench coat is this one here in this beautiful deep tan hue, which I absolutely love. It's got a cool tone. I find it works really harmoniously with my complexion, which we love. Uh, this is designed to be an oversized trench. However, it is even more oversized because I had to purchase it the next size up. I do wish now on reflection that I had it in my regular size, but I do still love it. I think the quality of it is really, really nice. Um, I need to do a little bit of maintenance though, as I've seen that there is a little thread loose here and there's a mark probably from one of my kids, but it is still a favorite, something I absolutely cherish. And it's not about the brand, it's about the way that it makes me feel when I wear it. I think if you are looking for something similar, but are on a bit of a budget, there is one that I've got from Dish in a slightly different hue. It's a bit lighter, but they do few other colors, um, that one would be a great option to give you a bit of a similar look, especially if you sized up one. Oh, and the best part is that actually I still have all of these items, so it means that they've been real winners and I haven't changed my mind on them. So the next thing I talked about was a pair of linen shorts from Among, and I did have my chocolate brown ones here in the house, and I cannot find them for the life of me. So. I'm not sure where they've gone. These have a very subtle herringbone pattern to them. They're a cotton linen blend. They've got button-up closure. I think these are brilliant because they're a tailored style but in a relaxed fabric. So as you can tell, there's still something that I personally really, really like. And they make me, again, feel really good when I'm wearing them, which is sort of one of the key elements to why I loved all of these items so, so much. Next favorite, oh, this is definitely one of my favorite purchases, hands down, of 2021. The Jill Sander for Uniqlo men's work jacket. I bought this on a total whim. It's a dark green color, so not quite black, but sometimes it pulls a little bit black depending on the lighting. The quality is just so beautiful. It is really nice and soft. It's a wool. I know they revisited it for the next autumn winter collection, and if you're really lucky, you might be able to find one in a Uniqlo store on sale. However, I'm not sure that they're continuing that partnership anymore, which is a real shame because that was some of my favorite collaboration pieces that Uniqlo release, especially actually the men's items. This is one I don't have with me because I knew we had limited storage at our rental and I was really mindful of that when we were packing up the house. So yeah, definitely a favorite one that I'm going to be so excited to pull out again for autumn, winter, the year ahead. Next favorite style purchase that I mentioned is the Inez top from Marl and this is a style that the brand tend to release every single year and I think it's really beautiful. I actually have it in two colors. I've got it in the white, which is a cotton silk mix which I purchased myself on sale and then I also have it in the black which is a cotton poplin. I prefer the way that the white fits and feels because it has this more ethereal sort of wispy quality to it that you don't get from a stiff structured cotton poplin. Was the white one I was talking about in my video? Again this one is in storage and I think it was more so that I felt like it wasn't quite the right top to be wearing in this current season of my life with young children. So I think if I was to select my favorites for 2021 again, I'm not quite sure it would make the list. However, I still really love it as a top and the quality is really nice. It's sort of something I've come to expect from Mal. And I mean, I have so many cherished items from the brand in my closet. So it's no wonder that this one made my 2021 list. Next on my 2021 favorites is this sweet little floral mini skirt from Eero. I actually tucked this one away into our storage unit but managed to find it when I was there over the weekend so I thought it would be fun to be able to show you try on and also just bring it back into my closet because I do really love this item. It is lined um, but it does have this almost sheer element component to it so I tend to wear it with new colored underwear. I found this one pretty loved. It was from The Real Real and the elastic around the waist was completely gone. So I had to take it to a tailor to get that uh, repaired. And I was able to get the elastic tailored exactly to my waist, which is kind of what you want. It was also a great one to wear throughout my pregnancy because of the elastic waist and I could just sling it underneath my bum. Yeah, again, I still really, really like this. I like the black base with then the poppy print on it. Reminds me a lot of a 
a romper and a dress that I used to have from an Australian brand called Lover, which has kind of gone through a, a few reimaginings, uh, if you will. If you were very familiar with the brand like I was, it was one of my favourites and you know exactly what I'm referring to. But yeah, I think this is a really sweet skirt. I do wish that it had a zip up closure actually, so it was a bit more defined at the waist. Um, but Nonetheless, it's really fun, flirty, and this is definitely a way that I like to wear print in my closet. Okay, next favourite on the list was my Series Life Picnic Dress. And this is again a style I am pretty sure that they still do, just in slightly different iterations. Mine is in this beautiful beige colour. It's linen, uh, it was perfect for nursing. Again, another really great one to wear while pregnant as well because it was so roomy. And I do really love this. However, I'm wondering if this falls into the concept of fantasy self. And the reason being that when I bought it, I was following a lot of girls who live on the coast, whether it's the Central Coast, Byron Bay, basically they had a beach life. They were always at the beach and they were always wearing these beautiful long dresses and linens and cottons and in really neutral colors. And I kind of found myself falling into this rabbit hole and wanting to add that or buy that for myself. And I've since realized that maybe that's not quite me, uh, but I still really do love the dress. It's in storage right now, obviously. Uh, and I'm thinking about how I can really reimagine it so that it suits the way that I like to wear clothes now. So perhaps something that I would wear with sneakers or a really chunky sandal, but I'm looking forward to having play with it when I pull it back out of storage when we move back into the house. Oh, the H&M tailored trousers. Oh, those were something I wore so, so much throughout, I think 2020 and 2021. Hmm. The past few years all are kind of meshed together in a bit of a blur, but I do still really love these trousers, though when I look at photos of me wearing them, now they look a bit too short. They look really, really cropped, and I do love a cropped trouser, but I'm not quite sure I love one that cropped anymore. It's kind of like when I wear my Totem jeans, sometimes they feel like they're a little bit short on me and like I could use a bit more length. And I think that this is more to do with what our eye has settled on and what is currently trending, what people are wearing a lot, which is more of that straighter, long length that comes down to the floor, those fluid draped trousers, which everybody seems to love. And I totally get it because it makes your legs look really, really long. Whereas a cropped leg can actually have the impact of making your legs look slightly shorter, especially when paired with a lower rise. So I recommend if you are wanting to try to lengthen the appearance of your legs when you are wearing a crop length to make sure that the rise is high so that it kind of gives you that visual illusion. My thoughts on the quality are exactly the same. I think they are brilliant and really good value for money. Uh, but I think in terms of what I'm wearing right now, maybe the ones I would put on hold, ones that I'm going to hibernate for the season and come back to when I'm feeling more of a cropped length. And this is something that I implore you all to do as well. If you are, especially as this time of year is when many of us sort of go through our closets and maybe do a little bit of a declutter, is think, is the reason why I want to part ways with this because it is currently not of the moment, it's not what is trending as part of the fashion zeitgeist, or is it because I genuinely no longer like it? Uh, and for me, I'm going to be putting those ones which maybe don't feel quite so modern or current in storage to come back to at a later date. Alright, and the final item that I mentioned in that video was my Anderson's leather belt. And you know, I adore this still. I love it so much. I wear it all the time. The leather quality is just brilliant. It is really, really nice and soft. I think you can kind of see it hasn't really curved or anything as well. It's really held its structure and shape. There's just a little bit of curving here at the back. I got mine in the 70 and I think I remember saying in a video that I thought I maybe got the wrong size. Definitely got the right size because this works both on my waist and on my hip. Uh, from a wear and tear perspective, something that I really noticed this year is that the brass buckle, the um, actual coating on it, which was gold, has started to wear off and now it has more of a uh, silver two-tone effect to it. And I will try and show you a close-up so you can see what I'm referring to, but otherwise it's held up beautifully and something that I still enjoy wearing a lot. And I tend to alternate it with my We May Non belt, which you are probably quite familiar with at this point. But yeah, that is the final favourite that I had to talk about in this video. It's always interesting to sort of go back and see whether the items that you were loving 12 months ago, which doesn't feel like a long time, 
but in some ways it kind of is, whether they are still capturing your heart in the exact same way. And clearly many of these items are things that I still love, but are maybe things that I've cycled out of my closet to appreciate something else for that moment. And I think that's very normal and a very typical way to approach your wardrobe, uh, especially if you're building something that is going to endure and that you're going to enjoy for many, many years. So thank you so much for watching, I hope that you found this one interesting and if you want to see more videos like this then please do hit the subscribe button. If you have any video requests for the year I want to hear them so please tell me, share with me down in the comments section and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you very soon, bye!